Hi guys, Farmer Ruth here at Cannon Hall Farm. Now we're up at the Roundhouse. We're with Orchid and we're with Ruby. We're just going to go and have a look, quick look at them, make sure they're okay. As you know, they are both pregnant. Uh, so we'll have a good look at them. So we'll go into Ruby first. Ta, good girl. So guys, this is Ruby. Um, and I've got some treats for her, so she's super, super my friend at the minute. So Ruby is due in Fe February. Um, I'll be honest with you, she's not showing any signs that she's actually in fall at the minute. Um, if you look at both of them side by side, Orchid actually looks further forward than what Ruby does. But this is normal for Ruby. Um, she's quite a solid, compact horse. So she, uh, she doesn't give anything away until the last couple of weeks. We moved Ruby uh, up here first, uh, moved her indoors, so we can just control what she's eating a little bit more, making sure she's getting food more to the point. She's not on hard feed. I, I know I'll keep giving her treats. And she, she says, there's some more in your pocket. Uh, but we just want to keep an eye on making sure she's putting a steady amount of weight on. She's not getting too fat, she's not getting too thin. Uh, and then just a couple of weeks ago, we brought Orchid up as well. So again, for the same reasons, and when they're ready for falling then, we've got cameras on them as well. So we don't have to interfere unless we absolutely have to. Uh, we can watch from afar and just let nature take the course, can't we? You're after them treats. It may sound like that we've we brought them in a bit too early because you think, oh, February is a long time away, but shire horses can fall really early. So you're better off having them in a situation where if they do start to fall, you're not running around, you're not stressing them out, bringing them in thinking, oh, but they're already here, they're already settled, they know where the bedding is. She's already started digging bits and pieces up out of her bed. Uh, so she already knows which bits she prefers, which bits she doesn't. So uh, it's always better to be a little bit early and a bit more prepared than to be rushing around at the last minute, isn't it, sweetheart? Right, so we've seen Ruby, let's go and see Orkin. She can have a treat as well. Yes, yes, you can't have everything, you can't. I know you're feeding too, but no. Good girl. Right, go on, back it up. No, you're getting your head stuck, go on. Back up, back up, back, back. Good girl. We're with Orchid now. So they look, first glance you think, oh, they look similar, but they're a lot, lot different. So with Orchid, if you look towards her belly and right back end, she's she's a little more bellied like that. So Ruby's straight up, Orchid's like that. So that's what I mean, like she looks a lot further on in full. She's got a bit of a bunchy belly, ain't you, sweetheart? Not your fault though, we still love you. Earlier on I said that we brought them up just to make sure that they were, they were feeding okay. So at the minute they're just on here. They've no need for any concentrates or any hard feed whatsoever. What we don't want is to feed them too much and the falls get too big. That would be disastrous. So what we need to do is make sure that they're taking in plenty of nutrients to make the fall grow as it should. And also make sure that mums have got plenty of energy as well. When they do fall, then we will give them extra food. We'll step them up very slowly so that mums have got enough energy to feed that fall. So they're making lots and lots of milk. So with Ruby, we are falling in February, if she sticks to a time, but she may have come before. So what we're watching for is signs that she's ready to fall. So we're looking for her udder getting big. We're looking for a wax cap on that udder. Uh, with regards to getting anything else ready, we just need to be on alert. We need to have a kit up here just in case we need to break a membrane. We need to have some towels and whatnot up here just in case. Really, we don't want to be interfering whatsoever. And then, of course, we need the, um, the vet on standby as well, which, uh, which Donaldson's are really, really good. They will be on standby for us. Both Ruby and uh, Orchid have both fallen here before, so they are experienced mums, but that doesn't take the tension away. Every falling can, be, can prove disastrous, so we need to have us wits about and make sure we've done everything we possibly can to make sure both Orchid and Ruby are in the best condition and they've got everything they need. And then we'll watch them all the way through falling, but from a distance, again, up here set up with cameras so that we can see what's happening. We don't have to keep coming and popping his head in and thinking, are you all right? are you okay we can watch from afar and we can make sure that everything goes in and only step in if we absolutely need to you can't eat me jumper right then guys that's just a little bit of an update on our heavily pregnant horses orchid and ruby if you like this video like and share we will keep you updated on everything that's going ahead uh, and any changes that we spot whatsoever so watch this space and from farmer ruth and from orchid and from ruby we'll see you soon bye guys